Our team coverage continues now with the latest on preparations in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. We begin in Miami-Dade with CBS 4's Peter Dench, who is live in Doral. Peter. Well, Carly, we can tell you this is an example of people not taking any chances, stocking up on free bags of sand here at Doral Central Park. This will be open until 7 tonight unless they run out of sand first. Meanwhile, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimena says everyone should have a plan. Preparations for the approaching storm take Will Tovar to this Doral Park to get free sandbags. We're trying to, you know, prevent problems at home. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, build a barrier in my, uh, in my porch mm -hmm. and uh, try to avoid the water coming in. At this Doral Walmart store, some like Gabriela Nieves line up for supplies. Actually, we're looking for batteries, water. There is a lot of unpredictability, but I'm hoping that um, it will go over us. It, it'll just bypass us. Miami-Dade is in a sliver of the cone, but there's still a lot of uncertainty about the track. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez outlines the county's preparations as the storm approaches. We have 20 evacuation centers on standby. They're not open, should we need to open them, and we will have them set up with COVID-19 safety measures. It's really too early to tell yet, so we're closely monitoring the situation. In case of power outages, Jimenez says the county has been calling more than 2,000 people who have registered for transfer to a safe place. Are these folks uh, who use vital medical devices like respirators at, at, and ho at, uh, at home? That means that uh, they're power dependent. About 500 people have already indicated that they, they will need assistance. If you need the service, call 311. You won't be able to get service during a storm. The county has also temporarily shut down all coronavirus testing sites and will also be closing all parks, marinas, and golf courses by 8 p.m. All other Miami-Dade services continue normal operations. Even though the storm is not what we saw with past hurricanes like Irma in September of 2017, Jimenez wants you to be prepared. Even though... Again, it's not a huge storm. It can cause damage. Make sure your hurricane shutters and battery powered radios are in good working order. Everyone should have sufficient food and water for each person in your home uh, to last at least three days and up to a week. Uh, you can just fill up your uh, containers with water using the tap. Jimenez also urged restaurants to secure their outdoor dining areas, including taking down any temporary tents or canopies. Now, Miami International Airport remains open and public transit here in Miami-Dade should not be impacted unless there are tropical force storm winds and that could change everything. The county also says it hopes to reopen the COVID-19 testing sites by Monday after the storm passes. We're live in Doral, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.